Hello gamers, and welcome to Papa Brad's Gaming. Today we're going to check out one of the true masterpieces of dual stick shooters. Of course I'm talking about Space Dungeon by Taito. If you've never played this arcade masterpiece, be prepared for a challenge, because this is one of the hardest dual stick shooters ever made. Let's get it started. Space Dungeon is a single screen shoot 'em up in which the goal is to guide an armored craft through enemy infested dungeons, collecting as many treasure items as possible before finding the exit to progress to the next level. Each level consists of 36 rooms arranged in a 6x6 grid. Auto map is displayed at the top of the screen together with any items of treasure that are currently carried. Rooms are connected by open doorways of varying sizes, and players can choose which rooms to visit by choosing the relevant exit from the current room. The game utilizes a dual stick control system, with the left stick controlling the player movement and the right controlling the direction of fire. This is similar to the arcade classic Robotron. The player's craft is armed with a laser cannon that fires a pulsating solid beam in any one of eight directions. To exit a level, players must find the collect bonus room, which contains a rectangle. Two thousand points. A golden fleece, four thousand points. It does not appear to level four. Not ever even saw this. But there's a platinum arc, eight thousand points. It appears as a glowing circle with a white eye in the middle. First appears on level six. As far as your enemies, you've got a bunch of different kinds of enemies. You get the pikers, hundred points. Slow-moving spike ships that attempt to collide with the player ship. You've got the corner zappers. These always appear in sets of four, one in each corner of the room. They fire beams randomly and intermittently between the different pairs. The player ship is instantly destroyed if caught in the crossfire. They also regenerate, so if you leave a room and come back in, uh, the corner zappers regenerate. So they're, they're one of the elements of the game that increases the difficulty. Uh, Death squares are slow moving obstacles, a single shot destroys them. The guards. 125 points. These are red creatures that can be found near treasure items, and they mimic the player's movements with a slower speed while shooting spores at the player. We've got the Executioner, 125 points. These creatures actively hunt and chase the player, firing spores and attempting to fly with the player's ship. We've got the Enforcer, resembling a smiley face. These will materialize in a room and charge at the player. It takes several shots to destroy an Enforcer, making it a high priority target. Player rooms, moves into another room with an enforcer on screen. The enforcer will appear in the new room at the same location and resume its charge. Uh, you got spore cases, 500 points. Spore cases do not shoot or chase the player, but if they themselves are shot, they will split out into three spores, often in the direction of the player's ship. Spore cases appear in rooms with more spore cases appearing over time. Spore cases first appear at level three. And of course, you have the thief. Thief moves around the dungeon autonomously and picks up treasure. The player cannot kill him. When the player shoots him, he may drop any treasure that he may be carrying and change his directions. He may also leave behind guards if he's shot multiple times. The thief first appears on level 2. That's the basic layout of the game Space Dungeon. Space Dungeon was released in February 1982. Some interesting uh, trivia on Space Dungeon. If you can get past level 99, something I'll never do, um, you get to level zero, and it says you're a hero on level zero. Uh, if, you, if you can reach 990,000 points every time you shoot an enemy, you will receive a free man. Interesting. 
Assassin. The game Space Dungeon appears in a 1983 movie called Joysticks. The game Space Dungeon was ported to the Atari 5200 in 1983. Also appears on a uh, Sony PSP disc called Taito Legends Power Up. Gameplay I captured here is played on the iArcade. Space Dungeon's retro-inspired graphics and immersive sound effects truly capture the essence of classic arcade gaming. To me, this game is a nostalgic trip down memory lane for veteran gamers and a thrilling adventure for newcomers alike. If you're in a game that will put your reflexes and strategy to the test, look no further than Space Dungeon. Trust me, this is one space adventure you will not want to miss. Next, we're going to take a look at my high score run on Space Dungeon. This is my best game in about, I think I recorded about maybe an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes worth of play. Just to give you an idea of the difficulty. That was a cool move where I rotated around. notice it puts the X where you die so that's where all your treasures were left that way you know where to go if you want to reclaim your treasures enemies in this game are relentless it's got great music it's got kind of a throbbing to the music which is very unique I would say this game has iconic sounds, similar to Robotron. Like, I could literally, after playing this game, if I just heard this game, I would instantly notice the sounds, because the shooting and the uh, sounds of the enemies are so distinct. Enemies just swarm up on you. One of the best things about this game is the greed factor. It makes you want to grab that treasure because really all the points as far as point scoring, you got to get the treasure to get the good points. Or you got to uh, be able to uh, unlock every single screen. That's another strategy. You basically try to run through without getting killed and uh, unlock every uh, screen and get out. That's not so easily done. Got five treasures. On the third level. You can see how quickly this game ramps up too. This would definitely be a game I would have to play for a long time to be able to really um, seriously do high scores on it but a great challenging classic arcade game it's interesting to me that all the pictures that I saw of this uh, game are in the same cabinet I typically see Alpine ski in I guess that's a very typical Taito cabinet there you go high enough to get in the high scores for the game Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video, it helps the channel. Consider subscribing to Papa Brad's Gaming. And of course, as always, stay legit. Thanks for watching. Stay retro.